Well, we asked uh, Chidon Gwangu, founder of the online newspaper US Africa, if the poll would have any credibility. I believe it will be contentious, especially given the violence uh, and uh, some of the intimidation that we've witnessed in different parts of the country. And of course, the fact that um, the incumbent has been making threats about remaining in power regardless of what the outcome of the elections uh, might be. I think it's better that he participated than boycotting the elections, because that would give Mugabe a blanket slate to write the outcome of the, of the elections. You know, he who enters the arena has the likelihood of uh, becoming a champion, becoming a winner. As you know, when you boycott elections and somebody runs the, slate, runs the, 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 the elections, without an opposition, it usually uh, turns out to be a mistake on those who boycott the election. So I think uh, Shanghai made the right decision, and there are international monitors all over, Zim all over Zimbabwe that will be there on July 31st, some of them are already there, to monitor these elections. The other issue is the fact that there is not, there is, we don't have adequate openness regarding the elections, uh, the voters' uh, list. So that's, a, that's another problem. Anything is possible with uh, Robert Mugabe. As you know, he challenged uh, Nelson Mandela, saying that Mandela was too kind uh, to white folks in, in South Africa. He's also uh, has carried on in a manner that imposes the exclusionary attitude of other persons who are part of uh, the reality and history of uh, Zimbabwe. And then in raising the specter of the events in Libya, Iraq, and other places, in fact, including Egypt, where after the leader lost power, we have had periods of instability. It is not uh, the proper thing to do, but it is a, a card that he always plays, the nativist card, the, the card of, of, of the one who loves the country more, the one who is inevitable. At almost 90 years, you wonder why he should not give up power for a younger person, for a technocrat, for someone who, had, who can carry the vision of Zimbabwe into the 21st and 22nd century. I mean, it's, it's unfortunate that it has come to this. Uh, Chidon Wangu there speaking to us earlier.